in this tutorial I'll show you how to install Zen for NetBeans ID 11.3 on Windows 10. So what is Zen is um, uh, Apache distributions comes with uh, Apache web server, then uh, MySQL, PHP, and Perl, and others. So main idea here, we are going to use um, MySQL and uh, also use them use. So I'm going to use this um, Zen distributions. Eventually, I will show you how to use uh, JDBC uh, Java development uh, for the database. This is important. The warnings you just say that you cannot use user account control. But I will show you how to deal with that later on. Here, um, the gray one means you must install. I don't use Perl. And then I will turn it up, some of them. So I'm going to have Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And then PHP my admin. That's the installation directory. Again, I don't need that. Next. It's going to take a few minutes to install. Actually, Zen uh, comes with um, MariaDB. That's the open source uh, database based on MySQL. So pretty much is comparable um, between uh, MariaDB or MySQL. So here in Jam, uh, many times it shows up with uh, MySQL. Actually, we are using uh, MariaDB. Um, in practice, it doesn't really matter. It's comparable. And then ID comes with uh, support for um, relational database management system like uh, MySQL or PostSQL or other database management system or DBMS. When you do um, Java development with a uh, database, uh, you don't need uh, another tool to deal with the uh, graphic user interface. You can just continue using NetBeans, then you can uh, browse your database. You can test it. Um, you can select a certain record if you want to. And it's easy to um, to use, um, so that's why I'm using uh, NetBeans with uh, with a MySQL. Okay, this is not the best way to uh, launch Control Panel, but let's say as it is, start Apache Web Server, MySQL. Then uh, we need to open uh, PHP my admin. The computer configuration file has to be changed later on. Let's click uh, my admin, sorry, uh, admin. And then here we type PHP my admin. So this is a PHP my admin. Uh, if you're using PHP, uh, you already know. So main idea here, we go to user accounts. Then uh, root, this is administrator account for PHP my admin. Let me change. Because it comes with no password. So let me just add some password. I'm typing root pass. Type twice. And then say click go. So we set the password. Let me go back to home page. Try, uh, try to connect. So we go to here PHP my admin. Let's set uh, root password. Just type root pass or whatever you want. Save it. So this time, let me refresh. Now it's okay. That means I already log in with the uh, same password. I'm going to use a test database for demonstrations. Instead of using root password, let me add a new user. User number one. The host name I will use localhost. Then password I will say pass one. 
localhost means uh, reporting to your own machine. So we are not doing remote access. Okay. So data and structure, I will select them all. No admin, no resource limit. Click go. So we just add one user to test database. You can uh, exit PHP my admin. So as you can see here, um, user one is set to a database called test. In order to use uh, MySQL with uh, NetBeans, you need a JDBC driver, okay? Or we call it as a Java database connectivity. So you need a um, Java uh, kind of driver between Java and then MySQL. Download uh, platform independent. You can just say no thanks. Just uh, start my download. So this is what I have. I'm going to uh, keep it in the same place. Under Program Files and Java. So here I'm going to keep it together on JPIT. Continue. Okay, if you look at inside, there's a MySQL Collector Java 8.0.20. Okay, that's what we need. Uh, that's what we call as a driver. So here is the main part of uh, this demonstration, driver. You go to um, C drive, Java, and then this collector, open. So here you driver class, uh, okay. So that's what we have, okay, customize or connect using. The password I had was a root pass, you type it. You can test connections. Again, this is a very common problem with uh, MySQL. I'm on different time zone, okay, if you see this message. So if you are on different time zone, you may to use a parameter called server time zone equal to UTC, universal time zone, okay? That way uh, it will work, okay? If you don't see the error message, then you might be in a UTC zone. Good for you. Uh, let me have another one. Here, instead of using MySQL, that's a system database, I'm going to use a test, and then user one, and then pass one. Let me test it. Don't forget, you need to set the server time zone. Okay. Here is a message. That's the red one. Uh, I just copy, copy, paste it on screen. There are different ways. You know, if you don't want to type it, you just go to uh, collection properties. Here, add properties. You can say server time zone. Then you can type uh, UTC. Okay. Try again, test connections. It actually works. So you can you can put it in a time zone in JDBC URL, or you can set it as a collection property. It's up to you. I prefer this way because the URL is, looks shorter on my screen. Okay, click. This is the database known called as a test. I don't have any tables at this point. Okay. So let me create a table. I will type it. We're using SQL query 
or SQL statement. So let's say a uh, create a table. I prefer to type um, leisure board in capitals. It is not necessary, but I prefer to type that way. So employee is your own name. Uh, employee number I say NO, bar chart. Name is up to 25 characters long and then not null. Age. And then uh, let's say gender. So we have age and then gender, one character, male and female for M and F. Sorry, M or F. Address, pata, let's make it short, 25 characters long. You don't nearly need a semicolon at the end of statement. Just click that one. Say no rows affected, that's normal, okay? So here, right hand side, mouse click, view data. Then it will give you a statement called select all from the employee table. It means employee table is already created. Let me insert some uh, dummy data or dummy record. If you know exact uh, name of the columns, you, can, you don't have to say um, insert into employee and then number and so on, you can just say values employee E0001, I had, um, I said six characters long, so six character. So let's say uh, Andrew, 21 years old, male, uh, address I will just say New York. Again, up to you whether you like to have a semicolon at the end or not. Let me copy, paste it, minor change, I assume that you are already familiar with uh, SQL was equal. If you're not familiar with it, this one basically saying we are adding one record for each line. So one law affected uh, three times, we add the three record. Okay, each statement represents one record in database. View data. Here you go. There is a table behind. Okay, this is the one. There are three records. One, two, three, and the uh, actual column name is num, uh, second, start from second one, and all, name, age, gender, and address. You can update, let's say update employee. Uh, normally, you have to use uh, what you like to update. So we we'll say set, let's say we update the name column. You can set the value. So here I will say uh, Jenny, then condition where number is equal to, uh, let's say E0002, semicolon, so you can run that script, say it affected, that means it worked, there's no problem with uh, syntax. So here view data. Second person uh, changed from Jennifer to Jenny, okay? So, idea is we can use update statement. Let's say use uh, delete. Again, we normally have to say uh, where, otherwise it's going to delete everything. So we say where uh, condition here saying that number, employee number is equal to E0003. We are going to remove Joe's select code. Let's have a look. So, George is no longer there, okay? 
So let me think, uh, is there anything I can cover? But if you look at here, even though I keep saying my square, but it is actually Maria DB. Uh, it means it is comparable. But if you look at here, like my S square, it actually uses my S square driver for PhD. I know it's confusing, but main idea is uh, Maria DB is pretty much comparable with uh, my S square because it's open source. So you can download MariaDB uh, collector for Java. That's uh, J stands for Java. And we are going to download 2.6.0. That's the latest version. Uh, Java compression file. Don't worry about this morning. We like to keep it. So let me quickly demonstrate to you um, MariaDB. That's what we are using at this point. So let me copy paste it to uh, Java installation directory. Then I'm going to use that uh, driver instead of MySQL. So here let me create a new one. Not that one up there. MariaDB. The driver class, okay, MariaDB, it says that MySQL comparable. Okay, let's uh, connect to the database. Here, try to remember, okay, MySQL, I will say test, user1, one, user1. One. Uh, you don't really have to worry about um, use of a time zone. It doesn't have a problem with uh, uh, MariaDB JDBC collector. Again, um, it's okay. You don't have to type it. Only MySQL has a problem with that. Finish. So we have a collections with uh, MariaDB. As you can see, we have uh, three connections to three different databases. So let me disconnect. So this one, we are using MariaDB uh, connector for Java. So here you go, okay. We are browsing same database called test using different uh, uh, JDBC driver. So if you prefer to use uh, MySQL, Please go ahead with the MySQL driver. But you happen to using uh, with the MySQL driver. You got to be careful if you have different time zones. Here, um, I just found out that when you uh, launch Zen controller as a normal user, you may have this warning. Okay, so. This is not difficult to fix, okay? What you need to do is go back to your same installation directory, controller, properties, comparability, here, learn this program as an administrator. That's it. That's why at the beginning of installation, it gives you a warning. You have to do something about UAC. So double click. You just start it. Then you don't need it anymore, you stop. Let's see when you exit, what happens? Nothing happens. Okay, that's how you fix that problem, okay? Um, please make sure you remember that, okay? Thank you.